there welcome back to the channel guys today i'll be taking a look at call of duty black ops 6 now i'm not sure if it makes any difference what version you are playing but i am playing the xbox game pass version so i just thought i'd make that known i'm just going to go through the in-game settings now so playing at a resolution of 3840 by 2160 natively so i'm not going to be using any dlss unlimited frame rate so no frame rate cap you can actually reduce the resolution of the menu i guess to save power or load on the on the system if you want interesting setting to have but i've just left it at native in terms of the quality you can see it's a custom preset i've made sure i've gone in and made sure everything's maximum so there's no dynamic resolution i'm using nvidia dlaa so that's deep learning anti-aliasing you see on the right there it says ai based anti-aliasing mode to improve image quality so it's not upscaling the game does support frame generation um but fsr free as well or maybe for dlss i'm not too sure um I'm just going to slowly go through all of the settings here because there's so many. There's no need for me to read them all out. But I've maxed out everything where I can. Even when it comes to um, allocated textures for the cache, I've put that to 64. Default is 32. So I'll be able to cache more textures, but you just need to use more disk space. But I've got plenty of that. And that is pretty much it for the in-game settings. Uh, the game is predicted to use around 6 gigabyte, which I'm pretty sure it'll use more than that, but we'll see. So this is the campaign. I know a lot of people would prefer to see multiplayer, but I always like to see what the campaign's like as well. <laughs> Lowry is ahead of schedule. Whoever he's meeting won't wait around for long. No, not if it's a smuggler. I'm sure Lowry has paid top dollar to get himself out of the Middle East. I guess it doesn't really matter. He's coming with us. Outlaw 42, we've got our eyes on the convoy. Paying the target, over. Roger, ground, target confirmed. Waiting on your go, over. Do it. Outlaw 42, you're clear to engage. Out. Let's go get him. Copy, ground. Engaging and out. Here comes the traffic jam. Okay, looking good so far, Move in the, the mid to high right. 80s. Two targets down. More to come, keep pushing into the smoke. Come on guys, say something for me. Another one. They'll know we're here soon, be ready. Let's head. Let's do it. Oh, hell yeah. Got a few over here. Make sure it's clear. It is. Game's using quite a bit of VRAM though. Well, it's allocated 20 gigabytes, but that's due to the 80% allocation. It's not necessarily using that. Not too sure why I can't see the dedicated. Anyway, let's see what this guy is. If he's alive or not. I got it. Stay calm. We're not here to hurt you. CIA? We had a deal! Deal? Not with us. Where you headed? Colorado, you lie! Your man was getting the house! Man! 
Who exactly is that? Is that us? No, it's not Iraqi either. Pantheon. Pantheon. We need to leave. You won't stand a chance against them. They haven't spotted us. Let's keep it that way. Come on. Let me get this straight, Mr. Marshall. The group you claim to be, the Pantheon, was a multinational, heavily armed paramilitary force that showed up out of the blue. At this point, you're told to wait for backup, but you decide to play cowboy instead. We had to act fast. Our window Ms. was closed. Harold, did he or did he not disobey your order? Yes, sir, but the accelerated timetable made... That's what I thought. I've come to expect this from you, but not from you. Sir, our objective was to recover Alawi by any means necessary. Oh, I'm aware. So, care to explain why he's on a slab in the morgue right now? Things got complicated. Not a fan of them splitting up the mission with cutscenes. The Pantheon is composed of former European and US operatives. I don't know who leads them. They're blocking our exfil. We call in reinforcements and wait. Wait? The hell with that. Barrage coming. Where did your way? No, we're compromised. Alawi will slow us down. Alawi, you going with us to the Pantheon? I'm going with you. Damn it, Troy. Smart man. Okay, so let's start by softening them up. Equip a swap your carried items, customize your loadout by pressing free. So you can just hold the wheel. Interesting. Let's get to work, case. That's pretty cool. That's our opening. Let's punch through it. Oh, shit, the night. So you're pretty much going to maintain kind of within the 80 FPS range without any DLSS. Which isn't bad for a campaign, but if you wanted to do high refresh rate, competitive, obviously you're gonna drop the settings a little bit. But for story, I'm actually content with this, it's not too bad. The game's playing extremely smooth. Right. Let's try not to be too ambitious. Stay with the team. So yeah, I'm not too sure why where the dedicated VRAM usage has disappeared to. Usually that shows up, but um, it isn't present for for some reason. I'll have to look into that. Um, grenade. That would have took me out for sure. about not slowing us down. We're open targets down here. Pantheon could pick us apart. Doesn't seem like there's any alternative. Not too sure what to make of the graphics at the moment. The levels have been too dark. Got a lot of hostiles ahead of us. Pick them off pretty well. The gameplay is extremely smooth though, so I'm happy with that at least. Yeah, I'm not messing with any RPG.
point to the west. Go. Why the hell did these guys want you so bad, Alawi? Get me out of here, and I will tell you everything I know. Damn right you will. Or I'll kill you myself. Viraj will meet us at the bottom. Of the cliff? Viraj! I think we're good. Everyone all right? Is this your... No, 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 no! Adler! Stand down! Wait till Woods gets a load of this. Goddamn Russell Adler. CIA traitor. He been on the run, what, 10 months? Marshall, huh? Woods' his new project. You can ease up, son. I'm all done here. Jane. You just killed a high-value target in cold blood and put our national security at risk. Hello, we can't fall into the Pantheon's hands. Or Langley's. The CIA is compromised. But it's not me. I'm just the fall guy. You expect us to believe that? Hey, Jane, you want to tape his mouth shut for me? Yes. Wait. I got a message for Woods. Oh, yeah? Tell him Bishop takes Brooke. What the hell is that supposed to mean? Time to go. In the truck! Things are getting interesting now. Get flares. Despite breach of conduct and losing Alawi, apprehending Russell Adler is a categorical windfall. Yes, Ms. Harrow. Bringing in a rogue operative is certainly a win. Russell Adler, the mole who betrayed us in Panama, the man responsible for your current condition, Mr. Woods. So why was he trying to tell you something in Kuwait? Bishop takes Rook. Any idea what that means? No clue. Okay, then. Based on Harrow's reluctant report and the withholding of critical information regarding Russell Adler, your team is suspended. Are you for real? This is bullshit. As for you, Miss Harrow, consider yourself on very, very thin ice. People like me and Adler are the reason we ain't speaking Russian right now. The Cold War is over. Mr. Woods. That makes you and Russell Adler the last global gunslingers of a bygone era. Take this time to reflect on that. Dismiss. Okay, guys, that's the opening oh, scenes yeah. of Black Ops 6. Hopefully, you've enjoyed the video. And as always, thanks for watching.